Hello and welcome back to another video. We are indeed acrylic pouring again today. However, we are going to be doing another little experiment for our coasters. So I recently mentioned that I use Floatrol and silicon oil to create my cells. So um, when you acrylic pour, you use silicon oil um, in some of your colours and in some of them you do not add any silicon oil. And when you pour it and mix it in a curved pour, dirty pour or whatever you want to do, the silicon oil will bring up certain colours to the surface and that's how you create those lovely cells. Um, I'll add some coaster pictures up on the screen so you can see some amazing cells. Now, I know a lot of people do not actually use the silicon oil and instead use their pouring medium only to create cells. Now, I've done a little bit of both, but to be honest, I can never really keep track of what I've added silicon oil to and what I haven't. And so I thought to experiment today, we would use some Floatrol and we will compare that to the same colours, but mixed with silicon oil. So I have some silicon oil i believe this was use this is a use for fitness equipment but you want to get the clear silicon oil not really the yellowing type because it may yellow your whites or your lighter colors um but basically we're going to mix up a batch of the same colors and pour two sets of coasters of the same colors in the exact same way but one will have some drops of silicon oil in and one will only be using the pouring medium Floatrol. and we're going to see how they compare whether the silicon oil produces better cells or whether there's too many cells and we're just going to see how that turns out and i think that's a really good test to see what what's best to use because sometimes i just automatically do it because i i know a lot of acrylic pour artists use it but maybe it's not the best thing to use so let's let's test that out today and see what we can come up with from this experiment okay so for um ease of telling which ones are uh, apart we've got some square coasters here which will be our non-silicon oil pour and we've got the circular coasters which will be our silicon oil pour so the colors that i've chosen are white which i won't be adding silicon oil to for either case because it's just your base um, color then we have some copper so in the bottle here there's no silicon oil then I have mixed up a small amount with some silicon oil for this one. Um, so that's going to be the case for all of them. So we've got the copper, we've got this mid blue, we have this deep Prussian blue, and we have this turquoise blue here. So that's our colour scheme. It's going to be a mix of blues, a bit of copper and a bit of white. So that's what I thought would be for the best. So I'm going to put it onto time lapse and we're going to pour equal parts of each colour in all the cups but obviously the ones poured into the cups on this side will have the silicon oil and the ones on the left will just be flow troll by itself so let's start pouring them into the cups and then we'll pour one of them together and then time lapse the rest of the pours So I'm going to tip one of each type in real time with you right now, just so we can see the initial difference between the silicon oil and the non-silicon oil. Um, I did pour those out of order, but I have poured them with the right uh, mixtures, don't worry if you did notice that. Um, so this is the non-silicon oil and just the Floatrol mix. Um, I probably would have liked to put a bit more copper in there, but... Um, I didn't have enough mixed <laughs> with the silicon oil so I didn't want to jinx the uh, experiment with adding different variants and amounts of each thing but as you can see initially it's a very flat pour there's not much selling coming out there you can kind of see the the over mix on top there where you've got the layers of each color it's quite beautiful don't get me wrong very very beautiful um but as you can see less layers there we will just move on to this one quickly i know it's a bit far away from you sorry about that look can you see all those cells in straight away just tons of cells um so there's your difference it's just straight off the bat um and i just i i absolutely love the way silicon works it's such a beautiful 
beautiful um, look about it. But but don't get me wrong, just the straight silicone oil is also a stunning, stunning look. Um, so let's quickly torch these to see what else we can bring out because the torching may uh, level the playing field a little. Um, but let's see anyway. So we've definitely popped a few air bubbles there and there are a few cells coming out, but not much, that's it. Let's see how we do with this one. Again, not much, it's definitely the initial look of them that you get to see there. So, I, I mean, I, I don't really know what else I can say. You can visually see that they are very, very different straight from the get-go. So let's turn it on to time-lapse and have a look at how the rest go. Hopefully they all match within their little sets, but let's turn that on and see what we can get. As you can see they all match which is fabulous but you can definitely see the difference there's a massive difference and that's not to say that I like more than the other I think they both look fabulous in their own their own ways I think the Floatrol only no silicon oil is very wispy very I don't know you could see you could say a bit ethereal um, I just love how you can see this almost gradient of white into that copper it's beautiful I love it and then this is very much separate colours. I can see that they've not blended at all. They've turned out so beautiful with their cells. It's almost like veins of copper through, I don't know, uh, lapis lazuli or something like that, if you want to get a bit um, gemstony. Um, but I think they are both beautiful in their own rights, and I'm really pleased with the results of both of them. But it's very nice and handy to have this little comparison video, actually, for my future for the future just because if anyone asks me to replicate a specific style of coaster I now know whether I need to add silicon oil or whether I don't so I think this is a success and I'm really pleased with the results so I hope you've enjoyed this video and please hit that thumbs up if you have comment down below which one you prefer which one you would prefer as a coaster set um, and I will see you in the next video bye